Hi, Dr. D here. Today I'm going to be talking about something that really stinks, and that is sweaty armpits. And I know that, like most of us, you're using all those deodorants, but do you actually know what these deodorants are made of? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about five harmful ingredients that are commonly found in deodorants today, how they affect your health, and why you should be looking at healthy alternatives. But before we do that, let's talk about from the beginning, why do we sweat in the first place? Sweating is a natural bodily function that can happen for many, many reasons. And it primarily occurs because your body is trying to self-regulate and bring things back to balance. What's it regulating? What is your body trying to do? In most cases, your body is either trying to cool down so it doesn't overheat, or it's trying to get rid of toxins in your system. Everything is really important for your overall health. And it's very important that you actually sweat because sweating helps you prevent getting sick. While it really is only the antiperspirant portion which prevents your sweating, using a standard deodorant is still not perfect. Sure, it allows you to sweat and makes you smell pretty, but the trouble is that the two of them have something in common. There are plenty of chemicals in both of them. So let's talk about those things. Why are they used? What the unintended side effects are? And what that means for your health? First up, aluminum. This is the primary ingredient that makes the deodorant an antiperspirant. Its purpose is to block the tiny pores in your skin, preventing moisture from developing at all. No open pores, no sweat, no problem, right? Well, we've already touched on why not sweating can be harmful, but aside from that, aluminum itself is a heavy metal and has been associated with seizures, Alzheimer's, bone formation disorders, kidney problems, and not so coincidentally, breast cancer. Next up, parabens. Parabens are used in deodorants as a preservative. It's only fair that a company wants to extend the product shelf life and ensure its products can last long enough in your home, but at what cost? The problem with parabens is that they mimic estrogen and can throw off your body's hormonal balance since it thinks it needs an adjustment as a result. Like with sweating, this means more self-regulation, only this time unwarranted. Parabens can also increase your risk certain types of cancers and for children lead to early onset puberty. Worse yet, if used during pregnancy, they can lead to increased potential for birth defects. Propylene glycol is the third ingredient and its main function is to increase absorption of sweat to keep you dry. Kind of like a supporting role for the aluminum but the problem is that this particular ingredient, which was originally formulated to be used as an antifreeze, is a neurotoxin and skin irritant. It can also cause damage to the central nervous system, heart, and liver. Goodbye skin moisture, but also goodbye skin health. The fourth chemical found in these deodorants are phthalates. Phthalates are used to maintain the consistency, enabling them to keep their distinctive form, whether they're a roll-on or they're a cream. Uh, nice, so they don't get all gooey and melt out of the container. That's great and all, but they are also known to increase the likelihood of cell mutation while disrupting hormone receptors and increasing the risk for birth defects. So some things maintain their intended form, while others not so much. Last on our list is triclosan, an antimicrobial agent that kills bacteria, fungus, and other microbes. This is the main driver behind the deodorant part, aside from any added fragrances, since it is in the presence of those elements which actually produce the notorious B.O. smell, and the chief function of triclosan is to reduce that odor. Some people might consider this the most important reason they use deodorant at all, but not everyone sees it that way. Believe it or not, Triclosan is classified as a pesticide by the FDA and a probable carcinogen by the EPA. And both of these organizations are not exactly proponents of all natural options. Triclosan is known to affect your thyroid, increase your risk of cancer, and amplify symptoms associated with hay fever and allergies. So I hope you found this video helpful. Use it as a guide to help you determine what types of deodorants you're going to be using in the future. 
take a look at some of the natural alternatives that are out there. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later. Bye.